here's a video about why I couldn't clean the diesel particulate filter DPF, on Volkswagen Passat B6 2.0 TDI using Gertectile DPF cleaner. Note that you can buy this Gertectile DPF cleaner using the promo code TutorialAuto to benefit from a 20% discount from the DPF cleaner price. Find the link below in the video description. Gertectile DPF also offers you a guarantee that if the DPF cleaner does not work, you can get your money back. In addition, if you send a video of the cleaning procedure done by following all the instructions correctly, they are also written on the bottle packaging, and you do not get a lower pressure value than the one you started cleaning with, you will get your money back for the DPF cleaner. The check engine and DPF warning lights illuminate more often on the dashboard. So, to fix the problem, I had to drive the car on the highway at a certain speed and RPM to regenerate the particulate filter every time those warning lights are on. Then I decided to clean the particulate filter using the Gertectile DPF cleaner. To clean the particulate filter or DPF on this Volkswagen Passat B6 2.0 diesel that has a mileage over 290,000 kilometers or 180,000 miles, I will use one of the most effective DPF German cleaners on the market, Gertectile DPF. Required tools, which you can find them in the video description below. Torx D30, hose clamp pliers, flat blade screwdriver or something similar, pressure gauge. First, I use an OBD tester that reads live data to scan for error codes. This way I find out that the car has a P2458 error, diesel particulate filter regeneration duration. So I moved on to the DPF cleaning procedure. First, I left the engine running until the water temperature reaches 90 degrees Celsius. Then I did a short check of the pressure gauge to see the pressure value from the particulate filter. And to do that I need to locate the differential pressure sensor or DPF pressure sensor on Volkswagen Passat 2.0 TDI which is located in the engine compartment. You should know that the pressure gauge hose is always the one with the greater thickness, in this case, it is the one on the left side of the sensor. I unscrewed the two screws from the differential pressure sensor bracket using a T30 Torx. Then I remove the hose and insert the pressure gauge. It can be seen that when I accelerate the car at high RPM, the value remains approximately the same, zero, which is a bit strange, but I went further. Here I have the Gertectile DPF cleaner that also comes with an application kit that contains an orange adapter and a hose through which the solution is poured into the particulate filter. The hose also comes with an adapter for the lambda sensor, in case you want to introduce the cleaner from there or to the temperature sensor. I connect the orange adapter instead of the bottle cap, then I connect the hose to the pressure hose. Then I start pouring the cleaning liquid squeezing the bottle until it's empty with the engine off. Thank you. 
I let the Jertectile DPF cleaner act for about 15 minutes with the engine off. You can already see that the car has started to release some white smoke from the exhaust pipe. This means that the DPF cleaner has started to vaporize all the hydrocarbons and removing the ash from the particulate filter, but not like it usually happens with other cars that release a lot of white smoke for a long time. This means that the DPF cleaner did not work properly and we will see why a little later. Then I reassembled the pressure hose and other accessories and then started the engine. I left the car idling for 15 minutes without revving the engine. When it stopped emitting any smoke, I revved the car at 2500 RPM for a few minutes so that the DPF cleaner would work even better. However, no more white smoke came out and again it was suspicious. So I started to check the car and see where the problem was. I noticed that under the car there was a large part of the DPF cleaner that had leaked through two places where the exhaust pipe has some rust. Here you can see how the DPF cleaner leaked through two locations of the exhaust pipe. In conclusion, the particulate filter being broken, the solution passed through it without cleaning it properly to evaporate the hydrocarbons and ash from it. However, I also checked with the pressure gauge to see if the pressure value decreased after cleaning. It can be seen that the value is zero which means that there is no pressure at all and that is not good. There should still be some pressure from the particulate filter, otherwise the turbocharger or other components of the car may be damaged and the repair costs can be quite high. So, as a brief conclusion, before cleaning the particulate filter, it's better to check the car for any other problems, such as in this case, a broken particulate filter. Otherwise the cleaning of particulate filter can't be done efficiently and properly. This cleaning process with the Gertectile DPF cleaner can be done in less than 60 minutes, in a car shop or even in your personal car garage. Attention, if you make a video with the car cleaning procedure following all the instructions on the bottle packaging correctly and do not get a lower pressure value than the one you started with, you will receive all your money back. Don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel, Tutorial Auto. Thank you for watching.